Hello, I'm Gigi Godwin, President and CEO of the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to today's virtual business accelerator. Our topic, SCORE, for the life of your business. I also want to introduce the Chamber team supporting today's event. So you'll be uh, hearing from them and interacting with them if you have any questions or issues. Megan Foy, our Manager of Events and Membership and Alexis Reed, our Director of Marketing and Communications. As a reminder, today's event is being recorded. During this webinar, you will learn about SCORE from their very experienced business leader, Mr. Walt Abbott, a certified, incredible mentor. His description doesn't really give him full justice for all the things that we know that Walt does, uh, but his title is Certified Mentor, and outreach coordinator with SCORE's Washington DC SCORE chapter. With Walt's ex expert guidance, you'll be briefed on who, what, when, why, and the how of SCORE. How SCORE can help you, who are the small business mentors, and who can request a SCORE mentor. The slides and audio from today's webinar will be made available on the Chamber's YouTube channel and you'll also receive an email with this information following the broadcast. Please submit your questions today throughout the presentation. We'll try to address some of them during today's webinar and any questions that we can't address today, uh, we'll go ahead and send those to our presenter, Walt, uh, and his great team after the broadcast so that he can respond to your questions and, um, and answer all your questions directly. Before I introduce Walt, we would like to take a quick poll of our audience today, our survey questions. So let's start with survey question number one. So we wanna know who you are and where you are. So let's start with where is your business located? As you can see, you have options for answering that question. Montgomery County, Metro Maryland, Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C., or are you someplace else on the planet Earth? Where is your business located? We're happy to have you with us today, and we're also proud of the fact that we have so many chamber members located throughout uh, the Washington metro area. And as you recall, Metro Maryland is from here to Baltimore. It's uh, quite a swath of, of area. All right. That should have given you enough time. We will go on to our next question. Are we ready for our next question? In which industry is your company? Are you a government contractor? Are you in biotechnology? Are you a nonprofit association? Are you in the professional services area? Or are you in another area? Please let us know what kind of company you have. Government contracting, we know, comes in lots of different forms. I know some of you will be construction, IT. Uh, it's a complicated area, uh, but government contracting is certainly a large community here. And biotechnology, my goodness, you're doing a lot these days. Um, and of course, we have a lot of great nonprofit associations and amazing professional services. All right, we're ready for the next question. Have you ever heard of SCORE? Are you familiar with how SCORE helps companies in their early, earliest stages? Although we're never too far along to learn a few new tricks, right? So um, are you familiar with SCORE? It's a yes or no. <laughs> Giving everybody a moment to answer to that. Thanks everybody. And of course, the obvious follow-up question, have you ever received any mentoring from SCORE in the past when you were thinking about starting your business early on or when you were with another company um, earlier in your, uh, in your entrepreneurial experience? So have you ever received mentoring from SCORE in the past in any capacity and in any area? It doesn't have to be limited to Washington, DC. So that's a yes or a no, just so we have an idea. And in a moment, uh, Alexis will close the poll and she will let us know what the results are. In a few minutes. 
Alexis, do we have the results? Yes, 40% of people have received mentoring from SCORE in the past. Wow, that's oh. fantastic. That's great. All right, and do we have any other poll um, responses that we wanna share? Yeah, sure. So um, about half of the participants today are government contractors and most of the attendees are located in Montgomery County and just about everybody is familiar with SCORE. Huh. All right. So most of you are in Montgomery County or many of you are and many of you are government contractors. No surprise, economic imperative for us. So there we have it. Well, that was a very good um, that's very good to have that information. Thank you so much, Alexis. And so now it is truly a pleasure to introduce Walt Abbott, Certified Mentor and Outreach Coordinator, Washington DC SCORE Chapter. Uh, just by way of background, Walt has worked as a risk management and business insurance consultant for many, many years. Uh, in fact, he has over 30 years of national insurance brokerage firm experience, uh, handling all types of clients from small businesses to Fortune 500 companies. Uh, after he took uh, uh, early retirement, well-earned and well-deserved, uh, Walt formed a risk management consulting firm, working primarily with, with one, of the, uh, one of the largest construction companies actually in the United States. While still consulting, Walt joined the SCORE DC chapter and has been mentoring companies for the past 15 years. So as you can see, we're, you are all in very good hands today. So with that, it is now our pleasure to introduce um, our, our very exciting guest speaker, Walt Abbott. Take it away, Walt. Thank you so much, Gigi, and thanks to all of you for attending. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to have an opportunity to bring you up to speed on SCORE because it sounds like most of you have heard of us and that then speaks to one of my major roles. And I am the outreach chairman for SCORE and as such, my major goal is to advise and let people know about who we are and what we do and all the various uh, questions that come up. Our SCORE DC, as well as our SCORE national headquarters have a small budget. So we are not in heavily advertising or even uh, running ads on many of the TV or, or radio networks. We do, however, have a lot of activity in the social media area. And uh, we are hoping that you will or have already uh, gotten information from or, or will get information from the, uh, well, uh, the social media areas. Now, for the life of your business, as you see in the bottom, the websites for score.org. Now, that's the SCORE national website, and that has a myriad of information and uh, assistance for anyone uh, who is a mentor or who is getting mentored through SCORE, or for that matter, anyone who is interested in getting information. You don't have to be a client in order to go through that webinar or through that uh, website. And then on the right is washingtondc.score.org, which is our uh, website. And I will be talking about both of these uh, in more detail, but I wanted to emphasize life because we at SCORE number one really do take your businesses to heart. Um, we feel that it is critical for you to have a mentor, a, an administrator, whatever you want to call us, in order for you to go through the entire process of your business. It doesn't have to be just a startup. And as you all uh, are part of, of Gigi's fantastic Chamber of Commerce, you're not startups, you're, you've been in business for a while. But we really focus on both startups and in business activities. In fact, unfortunately, we even have a webinar on how to close your business given the pandemic and how horrific it is. But we see 
your business as an ongoing growing process and as long as you're interested in working with us uh, we are happy to be mentors and help your businesses so for the life of your business you could read it as for the uh, ongoing time of your business or for the life of your business as giving kind of life support uh, uh, in order to help your business grow and go on to the next step. Okay, enough of life. Let's move on to the next uh, slide, please. Okay, who are we? Well, SCORE is a nonprofit organization, but it was founded in 1964 as a resource partner of the Small Business Administration. That means that we are not uh, a government entity, but we provide assistance to the Small Business Administration as a, a, a resource partner. And there are other resource partners that do the same. Uh, the Small Business Development Centers, SBBCs, the Women's Business Centers, WBC, and the Veteran Business Outreach Centers, which really focus a lot on veterans. So, all, all four of these organizations are resource partners and all of us provide small business assistance. Now, just a little bit of a history lesson. When the Small Business Administration was created in 1964, they initially and still do guarantee loans for small business. Now, since they are a federal agency, they wanted to be sure that uh, our taxpayer dollars were actually being used in a very sound way. And so they asked us, SCORE, as well as the other small uh, resource partners, to be able to mentor and to assist small businesses to help them be successful and also to be able to repay the loans that the SBA has guaranteed. So SCORE then has a long history with the Small Business Administration, but we are a nonprofit and we are all volunteers. Um, next slide, please. Now, you all are existing businesses um, and we, have a bit an awful lot of uh, areas where we can help and provide assistance to you um, as it, this slide indicates we have over uh, served over 11 million small businesses since 1964 um, we've helped create 50,000 new jobs per year and we have created a large number of, let's see, 97,380 new jobs in 2019. Uh, the, those businesses that we helped created those new jobs, we just provided some assistance in how to, to grow and how to, to build their businesses. And in that same 2019, 67% of uh, the small businesses uh, grew in revenue. Now, we all know that 2019 was not 2020. And one of the things that we are very proud of as SCORE is that once the pandemic hit, we pivoted from a face-to-face -face business relationship where we would meet with you one-on-one -on -one to virtual, uh, where we use Zoom, or email or phone uh, in order for each of us to be careful not to contaminate or, or to pass on uh, COVID-19. So we provided a, a substantial number of webinars uh, for the uh, CARES Act. And uh, we have a, a catalog of all those webinars in our uh, school, Washington, D.C. chapter, uh, D.C. Uh, 
website. So those are also available, and we will be coming out with new webinars for the second round that will be that actually has uh, begun already. But, but they are uh, uh, all available, and, and we'll get some more information on that. Um, in our growth, we have now a, a little over seven, uh, 75 mentors in our SCORE DC chapter, and we have 25 uh, other volunteers that are subject matter experts or are webinar presenters or administrative assistants. So we have 100 volunteers altogether, but we are constantly looking for new volunteers. And in fact, I have uh, registered with the Montgomery County uh, 50 plus um, volunteer, as well as the Montgomery County Volunteer Center, and have gotten a number of volunteers through that portal. So if any of you Granted, you're, you're working uh, full time, but if you know of anyone who might be interested in being a SCORE mentor, you don't have to be retired to do it. Um, you can do it uh, as a full time employee or as a part time employee. But we are always interested in and happy to look for um, you, the new volunteers, because we, we get about 60 um, requests for new mentors or for new clients a day. So our, our workload continues to grow and we're happy to, to provide this, the assistance for that. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, now this speaks to you, each of you and um, with 40% of you having, having gotten mentor, uh, mentoring from SCORE, you know the advice that we provide. In, and we have, as I mentioned here, 75 uh, mentors in our DC chapter, but we have over 10,000 uh, mentors all across the country. And so, as this slide says, you don't have to do it alone. Your SCORE mentor can be your sounding board. Um, we give advice and we listen to exactly what your, uh, you know, where you are currently, as well as what your goals are and your direction is in the future. So um, we each, over our career, and me, uh, I, as, as Gigi mentioned, I spent 10 years um, as a, an independent consultant for a large construction company. And during that time, I made mistakes. Uh, we all do. But what we're trying to help you with is to avoid those mistakes so that you can have a more smooth process and, and, and a more efficient and profitable operation. Now, we do, as I mentioned earlier, uh, have virtual meetings. What we typically do is set up uh, a Zoom meeting if, if our mentors are interested in doing that, and most of them are. Um, and then we, we talk with you. Our, the initial uh, session would be a, a, an opportunity to learn about your business, what you're involved in, how you're going about your business, and uh, what areas you, you are looking to get some assist, assistance with. Now, one of the things that I haven't mentioned is the outrageous charge that we have for all of this solid mentoring, and that charge is nothing. We don't charge anything for our mentoring ever, and we're super proud of that. Um, and I, because I've traveled a lot uh, outside of the U.S., their uh, other countries have a much different philosophy about volunteering. But we are um, uh, fortunately 
very much into the volunteering mode. So uh, we have one-on-one -on -one and group meetings, and you can pick your expert or get assigned based on need. Um, you go, in order to become a client, you go to uh, either the score.org website or the Washington DC.score.org uh, website. And on the front page, there is a, a button that says find a mentor. You would click on that button. And then there is a brief registration with information that you would provide. And in that, there is also a dialogue box at the bottom. And as it, uh, you may, in that dialogue box, put down information about your business in more detail than just, yes, I'm a government contractor, or yes, I'm in biotech. Um, and you then uh, are assigned a mentor, but one of the big keys is with all of our mentor, uh, mentors in the DC area, if for some reason your relationship with your existing mentor is not as good as you would like it to be, you certainly can change and get another mentor. And in many cases, we do co-mentoring because uh, as, as Gigi mentioned, I, I spent 40 years in the risk management and insurance area. So when a client has a small, a, a small business and they have a question in, in reference to insurance, typically I co-mentor with the uh, actual mentor, the number one mentor, on those particular topics. So those are the, the processes. And given that you all are each already um, up and running, we have such a wealth of expertise to help you take it to the next level. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, one of the things that we have um, and have created are business templates. Um, I don't know about you, but a business plan was kind of a uh, scary concept for me when I left a, a large agency and had to create a, my own consulting firm. We have a business plan, temp several business plan templates actually, um, in our uh, on our website. Those are uh, very; they vary from uh, very detailed to pretty simple uh, making decisions. But with you all, it's critical that you have a a business plan and that you are updating it on a regular basis. Now, it doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be a major um, uh, tome like a, like a Tolstoy novel, but it's important to have goals. It's important to have measurements so that you can see where you're going. Um, it's great to say at the end of 12 months, I made X dollars. Yeah, but what were your expenses? What were all of the various things that you had to pay? And are any of those things that you can reduce or eliminate or, or adjust in some way? The financial projections spreadsheet helps with the business plan because the financial projections are really uh, one of the major parts, if not the key part of the um, business plan itself. And then we have checklists, uh, a number of different kinds of checklists. Um, in our DC um, website, we have a um, COVID-19 resources section completely set aside and specific for COVID-19. Um, we in there we have a, a lot of information about the various loans, about the various programs, not just at the federal level, but at the state level, and in many cases at the county level, depending upon what 
programs are available and what they have. Um, so it's very important uh, that if you have any issues or questions about the um, COVID-19 uh, and its impact on small businesses, check out that section of our website. Um, we also have many webinars. Now, our webinars are come in three categories. One is a pub public service webinars. And as a result of all of the various uh, CARES Acts and other uh, issues concerning small businesses, we have put on a number of um, webinars some in conjunction with the Small Business Administration and some on our own to talk about the PPP and the IDLE loans and how to, to get them, how do they work, are you eligible for the second um, round of the PPP loans, things of that nature. Um, and then uh, for those of you who are in the government contracting area, we will have a uh, webinar uh, and it's called Registering and Selling to the Federal Government. That's gonna be at uh, January 31st at 1 p.m. But if you go to our website, you can find that in the list of webinars or workshops and you can register there. Now, there is a charge for that webinar, which is the second kind of webinar that we have. We have um, a series of five uh, webinars called Small Business Essentials. And those go into a lot of the information that would be helpful for startups. Uh, and in some cases, it would probably be beneficial for you as well, because we get into marketing areas, we get into financial um, programs, current financial issues, and things of that nature. So uh, those webinars are helpful. And then the third type of webinar is a sponsored webinar. And that's where we uh, get a sponsor, such as an Eagle Bank, which just recently sponsored uh, one of our webinars, or even Montgomery County, the Montgomery County government sponsored another of our webinars. Now the benefits for those is that we can, um, those are all free and therefore we get an awful lot more people attending uh, and the, the topics are always very uh, in, informative and helpful to uh, any of the small businesses. Okay, next slide please. Okay. This, I'm gonna focus more on SCORE headquarters, our national SCORE operation, which ha happens to be located in um, Herndon, Virginia, but they have a tremendous amount of information uh, available to anyone who is interested. It's, it, it, it is a, a Library of Congress type uh, organization for small businesses. We just have a, an amazing amount of detail and information available. But some of the areas for score.org, uh, which is how you would get onto their website, is business resilience advice. Now, one of the things all of us at that score have been working with is how to keep your business is alive, how to help you transition to another approach for your business, and how to um, deal with all of the changes that are taking place and will continue to do so. So at the SCORE National website, there is a business resilience advice. There is also a, a PPP loan uh, information uh, which goes into the new uh, PPP as well as the information pertaining to the previous one. And then the, another separate area is 
uh, a PPP loan calculator so that you can go there and see if you're eligible for the second round of the PPP uh, uh, loan grant slash program. So lots of information on the SCORE National website. Again, lots of material and blogs and other detail that um, you can access. They, they also have a lot of templates. Uh, one of the things that I do frequently when I am working with a particular client, um, I will go to their webpage and I will find information specific to that particular type of business. Um, as an example, we have blogs in reference to government contracting in, into all kinds of um, other uh, uh, service or in industry businesses and uh, any kind of, well, almost any kind of business you can imagine. So you can get good specific information and up-to-date details in reference to um, that particular type of business. We also have at the SCORE national level their own webinars and those are available. Uh, they have a list of those that will be coming out and they also have a list of those that have already been delivered but are, are uh, have been recorded as, as the, is the case with, with this webinar and they uh, are available to look at as well. So, and just as, as an aside from uh, our own webinars in, in our DC chapter, um, if you uh, are registered, you will have access to the recording in the event that you weren't able to attend the actual webinar itself. So um, you pay for uh, those paid webinars at $25 for an individual webinar and then for the um, essentials five webinars together, you can pick one or pay $79 for all five of them. They are very, very helpful and, and have an awful lot of really good information. Okay, next slide, please. How? I mentioned blogs, e-guides, infographics, podcasts, and videos. Now, uh, I am not as familiar with some of the words or, uh, as you all are, but we have through our social media and through our website, ton tons and tons of information available to us. Um, we are actually, interestingly enough, our DC chapter will be having a, um, a pitch contest, kind of like a, um, a, a contest to uh, provide information about your product or service. This pitch contest is going to be focused on and uh, have Black entrepreneurs as the pitch participants. There'll be two separate categories. One is for startups up to two years in business. And the second is for businesses in, in excess of two years in operation. And each category will have two separate winners, one a product winner and the other a service winner. We haven't in the past, um, uh, we've had several pitch contests at SCORE, but we haven't in the past had a contest for the service industry because in, in, as in Shark Tank and all the other um, TV operations, products uh, are a little more sexy and unique in some respects. And so therefore uh, they are, the ones that, that most pitches focus on. But we felt that we needed to include the service industries in our pitch. 
And what will happen is that we will have a um, educational program for how to pitch. And then uh, about two or three months later, you will actually have the pitch itself. In between the how to pitch and the uh, pitch itself, you will be either working with your existing mentor at SCORE, or you will be uh, given a mentor who can help you refine your pitch, strengthen it, and, and get it ready for the actual final contest. So uh, we're not just throwing darts uh, at a blank wall where we really want to help you with that. And we find that the, the pitch really does help you focus on what is the most meaningful and important part of your overall program. How do you define it? How do you shrink down the explanation for it? How do you really improve your um, value uh, proposition and your, your elevator pitch, if you will? So uh, those are, uh, the information on those will be coming out very soon. And we will uh, send those uh, as well to uh, the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce so that they can advise and send out to you information about them. Okay, now next slide, please. We are partially funded by the SBA. And uh, so this is kind of a paid advertisement. And uh, we get most of our revenue through our, our um, webinars. But because we are all volunteers, we have several paid individuals who uh, specialize in administrative services uh, and help us with uh, all of the various administrative activities that we have. And we have someone who is an expert in marketing uh, and they are uh, paid as well on a, a basis. So that's where the funds and money goes. Our, uh, before we were uh, closed down because of the pandemic, we had an office in the SBA building in DC, and that was provided to us free, uh, along with the electricity and the uh, air conditioning and heating uh, and all, a number of other services. But now we're all working out of our homes uh, and um, so those offices are not occupied at this point. Okay, now, what I have at the tail end of this long-winded discussion, um, I wanted to show at least one or two of our success stories. Um, we have uh, contests for within the, the DC chapter as well as nationwide for successful businesses. And it, we provide a lot of media attention and, and information pertaining to them. But what I would like to show you first is Maxi Gluckman, who is a, a local person um, who created her own government contracting business, and she was given the Outstanding Young Entrepreneur Award, and her company's name is Instructural. So with that, I'll turn it over to Alexis, my expert, who will run the natural video itself. Structural is a small women's business that was founded to improve the level of linguistic education. Our mission is to train Spanish speaking adults with a level of professional English that opens doors and generates opportunities. And we do this utilizing a blended methodology and advanced technology that allows and ensures 
an effective and accelerated learning process. They really want to focus from the first moment that a learner enters into our page and starts learning that they are really engaged in 15 modules of developed pedagogical content. On top of that, we have native speaking English tutors. And native speaking tutors really add a personalized component to learning as they refine the learner's pronunciation skills as well as their oral capabilities. And these are all held virtually. They can be held one-on-one -on -one or in groups of up to four similar level students. We all knew probably within 48 hours that Maxie was special because some of the things that we talked about in our initial session, she came back to me with questions. I then went back to her. And so right from the beginning, um, her you know, thirst for learning about the federal procurement process and just business in general was very impressive. Whenever I encounter an obstacle, I know that I can reach out to my mentor and we'll push through it together. That passion, that commitment um, to helping others is what's going to make Maxi successful. Okay, um, I'm going to hold off on killing the other two, but um, when uh, you get your uh, copy of the presentation, um, you can look at uh, there are three of the uh, score awards, and I just wanted to show you one from our chapter. Um, Karen Williams, who was the mentor who helped uh, Maxie with her business, uh, was the uh, senior executive at Northrop Grumman in charge of all of their government contracting. So Karen knows government contracting and she is a, an excellent, excellent mentor. Unfortunately, because she is so competent, she's overloaded with uh, mentoring clients already. But we have a, a goodly number of others. We have uh, an Air Force general uh, who is an excellent expert in um, government contracting. We have our vice chair uh, who has her own government contracting business providing uh, translation services. And we, we have all kinds of other mentors in that area, but also in other specific areas that you may have. Uh, so there isn't any limitation on uh, what kind of business you might have and how we might be able to help. Now, finally, I just wanted to stress that since we are a free um, organization providing free mentoring, it doesn't mean that the mentoring isn't really very good. As pointed out, we have, um, unlike me, I, I was um, a, a vice president in uh, an insurance brokerage firm, um, along with a Brazilian others, but we have a ton of really competent, knowledgeable people in our DC chapter, but also all across the country. So we can really help with any kind of issues or problems that you might have. With that, I'd like to wrap it up and uh, go to our question and answer session. But I just wanted to, again, express my sincere appreciation for uh, the uh, Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce and for all of you for attending. Uh, I hope it's been worthwhile. Uh, I get paid by applause, but it's hard to see that when no one is actually on the screen. So I will accept your, uh, when we have a, our, our um, final survey, um, you can provide input and suggestions as to how uh, this may be improved. But with that, I turn it back over to Gigi Godwin, who has just reappeared on my screen. Hello, Gigi. Hi, Walt. Thank you very much. And for all our attendees today, um, Walt outlined the kind of information they have. Um, you didn't actually see those lists or the checklist or any of those things. 
But uh, Walt, uh, we're gonna, we will be sending you Walt's contact information and he can send any of you all that very specific information. Uh, he gave highlights of categories, but um, you know, as business um, owners uh, and managers, I know that um, you uh, definitely need you know, very specific guidance or at least how to open the right doors for resources. And naturally during the global pandemic, there were additional resources. The chamber posted a lot of them, SCORE did. Uh, so there's, there are those. Um, one of the questions that, um, you know, that certainly pops up oftentimes is if you're a business owner um, or a manager, how, how do you connect with the right mentor? How does that process work? How quickly does it work? Uh, most of us want to have questions that need to be answered yesterday. Uh, so Walt, can you just give us like the fastest, here's how it happens. You know, people will follow up with you today. How do they have the right mentor by the end of the day? Okay, the, um, the mentoring process is handled through SCORE National. And what happens is that you go to score.org or to our website and you click on find a mentor and you will be um, uh, as you, I say, as I said, complete the registration. And in the um, chat box at the bottom, you can specifically state what your issue is. Now, unfortunately, we can't get back to you tonight uh, for a question you have today until you actually have a mentor, but you will be given quick uh, responses and the mentor who is assigned to you will um, get back in touch with you within a couple of days. Now, the other issue is that um, you may, uh, as, as I mentioned, start out with a mentor who is very knowledgeable, but not necessarily the right fit. And therefore, you can adjust and change uh, uh, mentors. And uh, that is an easy process with all of us that we have. Now, uh, I, I'm super busy with a bazillion things, but if any of you who are on the call have specific issues or specific areas that you're interested in, please send me an email and I will either respond to it or I will send it to the person who does have the expertise in that area. So as Gigi pointed out, everything is, is yesterday. You have to have information immediately. So let, let me be helpful in, as a conduit in that instance. Right, I mean, that's one thing that, you know, we are very aware of. We don't um, ever put anybody in front of our members or our board members. They can't be directly responsive to at least say, I've got your request, I'm looking for the right person for you. Uh, it's our brand, it's what we do. And we only work with people like that and Walt's like that. So if you send Walt an email, he'll respond to you and let at least say, I got it, I'm on it. You know, so that's the kind of, because he appreciates the real time uh, issue for all of this. Um, do you have information that's specific to government contractors? Absolutely. Um, because we are here in the district, um, government contracting is probably one of the major areas that we have for um, mentoring. And we, we provide expertise, as I mentioned in the video, uh, one of our mentors, Karen Williams, um, it was a former executive at Northrop Grumman who handled all of their government contracting. So she has a background and expertise. And we put out webinars uh, periodically where she does presentations about various aspects of government contracting. So there are a lot of different areas involved, but we, and in fact, a lot of other chapters you know, throughout the U.S. send us clients that are looking to work with the federal government and we can help them process and, and get on the right track. Actually, that's great to know because we're in a virtual environment. It shouldn't really matter where somebody's located. So if somebody here in Maryland, D.C. or Virginia uh, says, Walt, I need an expert on, you know, aerospace contracting, you know, issue, uh, you know, then you can put them in touch with the expert in Phoenix as easily as the expert in D.C. Correct. 
And that, that's exactly how the, the virtual approaches work because we don't have to be physically in person right there. We can draw on our expertise all over the country. That's terrific. In addition to business executives, you, and uh, business executives uh, includes um, legal, accounting, and financial services, bankers, you know, mm -hmm. others that can help people with questions. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a number of uh, mentors that are knowledgeable in these particular areas. But we also have what we call what is called a preferred provider list. And we don't recommend or, or uh, provide a suggestion of a, a private company specifically, but we have a list of attorneys, accountants, men, all the mentors, um, and uh, or not mentors, but other uh, areas. And those are available. We typically require three so that individuals can make a decision as to which they're interested in. But yes, we have and provide um, a number of webinars about the um, accounting areas as well. And so um, when our when our um, businesses that participated today are thinking about, well, how do I balance, you know, how I use SCORE and then how do I amplify that with my chamber relationship? Um, you know, one of the ways, uh, you know, after you've spoken to a SCORE mentor, um, you know, and you get some ideas, you might find out that the kind of person that you need uh, is different from what you thought. And that's one of the, the things that a, a mentor with, um, you know, decades of experience can say, well, you know, that's not an accounting problem. That's a banking problem, you know, mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we don't hesitate to, to um, introduce you to people. It's like, who's in this area? Who are the experts? Uh, because we know you need um, to go from advice to current practitioners because you've got to have somebody who can actually, you know, represent you and, and, and do the work now. So it's, it, I think you can think of it as, you know, a couple of levels of, of capability. But, you know, time is your most valuable resource because it's a non-renewable resource. You know, you can go to a bank and get money. You can never go to a bank and get more time. So, uh, you know, mindful of that, and I am very mindful of that, that uh, you've got to get good advice. Uh, you know, from as many sources, you know, good, reliable sources as possible, key people um, that are that are strategic introductions, and then move on from there. Um, because we don't want you walking in circles at the chamber. Um, you know, you can't. That's not good for you. And uh, we don't we don't uh, operate that way. So, um, but you know, we see Walt uh, and his team and his colleagues around the country. Uh, as a good source of information, particularly for companies that, um, and for business leaders who are early stage entrepreneurs um, that just could use a little offsides guidance. Uh, but we're here to, to help you find your way back to Walt uh, and to his good colleagues, but, and also to uh, current practitioners in your field. Absolutely. Walt, yeah. any, any party remarks? Because I know our time is almost up. Or first, I should say, Alexis, do we have any other questions? Or Megan, I know you guys can see if anybody is sending in questions. I'm looking to see if I see any, but I don't. No, we do not have any more. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. So I see something that says, can I work with a mentor oh, uh, to help me apply for the next round of PPP loans? Do mentors help do that? Absolutely. And as I mentioned, we're, we're going to have a webinar specifically on that topic, as well as a uh, PPP calculator to determine whether uh, you do qualify for a new PPP loan or not. So yes, we, we have a, a wealth of expertise in that area. It's good to know that there are webinars coming up, but I think, you know, if somebody sends you an email today and says, I need, please introduce me to the person that can walk me through the PPP process, you could do that directly. We don't, that nobody on this call or any other call has to wait for a webinar and, you know, to go about it that way. You can actually connect them to somebody who can help them in real time. Correct. Okay, great. That's terrific. Do we have any other questions um, out there? I just happened to see that one pop up. That's a huge issue. I, I don't, you know, there's, uh, it's important to get really good advice on all of that. Um, all right. Uh, well, the message I'm seeing is that that was the last question. 
Uh, and I just want to make sure that we're mindful of, again, your non-renewable resources, your time, uh, and that goes for Walt as well. And uh, I just wanted to wrap up and say thank you, Walt. Uh, it's important for people to know that the uh, SCORE is out there to help. It's free of charge. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way to get advice. Um, and, and especially in the category of how to think about something, you know, are you asking the right question? Uh, and it's a good launching off point for us to help connect you uh, to the right folks. Of course, you can always come to us, you know, because you know us. It's just great to know that you've got an expert like Walt and his good colleagues around the country uh, that are also subject matter experts. As we mentioned at the beginning of today's accelerator, uh, we are making a video recording of today's presentation and we will make it available on the Chamber's YouTube channel. Um, the slides uh, and the YouTube link from today's presentation will also be emailed to you. Um, and we wanna say thank you. Your time is valuable um, and uh, we'd love to hear from you on other questions that came up uh, if you weren't able to ask them during the presentation or do you think of them as you're uh, you know, uh, out and about, uh, please send us a, an email. We're happy to uh, address any other questions that come up from our members today. So with that, uh, I wanna thank you, Walt, and thank you uh, for all our members who participated today. Uh, and we wish all of you and your families and your businesses good health and success in the months to come. We're in a new year got lots to do uh, and uh, we're, we're right here for you. So with that, I'm gonna say thank you everybody and we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much, Dee. And thank, thank you. you.